for Life Center, where today we are celebrating the 27th annual Blue and Gold Classic. I'm Scott Taylor, and I'm uh, I'm helping out Ron East and John Mackey from Football Manitoba, and those are the first two people I have to introduce. Ron East, the new executive director of Football Manitoba, guy you should get to know, a uh, tremendous human being and a legend in his own mind, and uh, John Mackey, who really is a legend, the former quarterback of the uh, Vanier Cup winning uh, 2007 University of Manitoba Bisons and the technical director of football Manitoba. I also have some dignitaries at the head table to introduce to you. Uh, at my far right is the head coach of uh, Team Gold West, Charles Mazilowicz. Charles? Um, one of my favorite football players, honorary coach of Team Gold West, Marcellus Bowman. Beside him, the quarterback of the Bombers and honorary team coach of, uh, of Team Blue for the under-16s, Buck Pierce. Uh, Rob Bailey, the under-18 head coach, Mr. Bailey, and the uh, uh, under-16 head coach and former player and one of the guys and one of my favorite people, Brett McNeil. Um, quickly, the background of this football game. It started in 1985 as the uh, answer to a problem. Uh, in 1985, Sport Canada had decided that they were only going to fund Olympic sports and that they might consider funding sports that uh, trained all season long and were perhaps uh, in their roots Canadian. Well, Canadian football was certainly Canadian, but at the time, football didn't train 12 months a year. So they created a training program in 1985 for the kids to um, come into the University of Manitoba and start working out all winter long. And at the end of it all, most of the players were upset that there wasn't a game. So it was decided by Football Manitoba at the time that they would play an exhibition game against Thunder Bay, and that started it, and that was 27 years ago, and that's where we are today with the 27th annual. It goes Saturday, 10.30 a.m. is the uh, under-16 game, 1.30 p.m. is the under-18 game. The under-18 game will be televised on Shaw TV. Um, there have been some tremendous players that have played in this game before, and if, if we, we often forget um, how many great football players are turned out in this province. And I mean great football players turned out in this province. And um, included in that list is Israel Adonage, of course, with the Chicago Bears, Eddie Steele with the Hamilton Tiger Cats, um, uh, Don Ramasio, Andrew Harris, uh, Donovan Alexander, Corey Hucklack, guys playing in the CFL. This has been a, a big stepping stone for a lot of young players um, to move on and um, uh, reach their dreams of being professional football players. We have a couple of former players in attendance today, Ryan Marsh is with us today. Anthony Coombs is with us today. Eddie Steele's with us today. Eddie, good to have you out uh, from the Tide Cats. And um, it's, it's been a, a tremendous history over 27 years, and uh, we're proud to be able to put the game on again this Saturday. I'd like to introduce some of the players who came out today to play, so you can do some one-on-ones after with the players. A receiver from the under-16 team, Kai Madsen. Let everybody know you're here. Running back Brady Oliveira from the under-16 team. Uh, a D lineman from the under-18 team, Josh Toledo, is right here. Uh, a linebacker from the under-18 team, Leon Signorini, is with us today. A running back from the under-18 team is Blair Mattis, is with us. And a lineman from the under-16 team, Randy Sanderson, is with us today. Um, John couldn't find a jersey big enough to handle our lineman. It's all got running back suits on it. Randy still has a shirt and tie. Um, I'd like to call at this time on uh, John Mackey to talk about the under-16 and under-18 programs. John? Thanks. Thank you, Scott. Um, for right now, I just wanted to thank our sponsors, some of our sponsors, for uh, coming out to the press conference right now. Uh, Corey from Heavy Metal Design, she's designed the, um, the Game MVP Awards. Uh, we have also Harbal uh, sponsoring the Game MVPs as well uh, with the leather jacket, uh, Letterman jacket that uh, we can't have this on display right now, but uh, that's what's going to be given out to the MVPs. We also have offense and defensive players of the game from both teams. Uh, that's from Heavy Metal Design, the, the uh, awards, the blue and gold, and uh, Arbel for the jackets. Um, I just wanted to talk briefly about the blue and gold classic. It's an event that uh, showcases our young football talent uh, that we have in our province, just as Scott said uh, each each of these players has an opportunity to develop their football skills with other athletes and they receive some instruction from some of the best coaches in our province uh, they also have an opportunity to move further with their teams and participate in nationally recognized tournaments like the red river cup that we have 
and the Football Canada Cup. Uh, the junior varsity game is composed of top caliber under 16 football players vying for roster spots on the regional Winnipeg West and Winnipeg East teams. These teams then go on to represent the region at the Red River Cup in July. And this year it will be held at University of Manitoba on July 6th to the 14th. The varsity game is composed of our top U under 18 athletes and uh, they compete for a roster spot on the Manitoba provincial team which then goes on to a national championship tournament held in London this year. Um, again, the Blue and Gold has produced many of our finest athletes, some of them that are here. And I'd like to thank some of these guys that come out, Eddie Steele, Ryan Marsh, and Anthony Coombs. Um, Anthony Coombs has, uh, was the MVP of the International Bowl uh, against Team USA versus Team World, and he was the most valuable player. I'm very proud to see that. And he was also in Sports Illustrated Faces in the Crowd. That was pretty cool to see. Ryan Marsh from the Rifles program has just uh, committed to us at the, the University of Manitoba. And I look forward in working with Ryan as a coach with the university with the quarterbacks. And then Eddie Steele I played with uh, in 2007 on the Vanier Cup team. Um, just to give you a little brief story about Eddie Steele, when I, when I first saw him come out of Calvin, uh, he was a little pudgy. D lineman, and I was, didn't think anything of it, but he was at one of our throw rounds, and uh, he was playing corner. Okay, so I see a big pudgy corner out there. I'm going to be throwing against him, and I threw a dropout pass to Randy Simmons, one of our best receivers at the time. And this kid, who's 320 pounds at the time, comes flying through the air and knocks it out out of the air. And at that point, I said, "This guy's going to be a CFL football player just because of a tremendous athlete." But he's also a great friend, so I, I really thank you guys for coming out here. And then, of course, the uh, young and up-and-coming -and athletes. I'm very excited to see what you guys are going to be performing on Saturday. And uh, I really want to thank all the coaches for coming out here as well. And uh, here's to a good blue and gold classic. Thanks a lot. Am I to read this? Was this handed to me no, to read? No, sorry, I'm not going to. It's okay, I'm not going to read it. It was the address from the executive director. Um, he's smarter than I thought. I've been to these things a thousand times and I know how they can drag on. I'm not going to let it drag on because our guys from the media want to talk one-on-one -on -one with uh, with the coaches, Charles and Rob, and with our honorary coaches, Marcellus and Buck and uh, Brett. Um, it's all yours. Our young players are here. Eddie's here. Ryan's here. Anthony's here. Talk to anybody you like. And thanks very much for coming out. The Blue and Gold Classic starts at 10.30 Saturday morning.